Coming up in the show, there's a battle for supremacy between Turkey and Spain. We've got all the best action from around the globe and our top plays of the fifth window. Drive, oh goodness me! If this goes in, the place will erupt! Whoa, get out of here! This is my house! In our recap of the fifth qualifying window in Group I, as second place Turkey locked horns with tabletoppers Spain. Spain needed to win to secure their place at next year's World Cup, but Turkey had their own ambitions of making it to China. Takes it all the way, but then he gets blocked. So Semir and making an impact already on both ends of the floor for Turkey. And a three pointer is good from Kino Colon. An exciting first quarter, 15 apiece. Dario Brizuela had an inspired second quarter. Brizuela puts up another one and hits it. And Brizuela has knocked down a couple here in the second quarter. But Turkey refused to wilt and had a two-point lead at halftime. Semi Erden continued to torment the Spanish defense. And a quick pass, and Dos Balbay snuck in there. Erden. Oh, what a tough move by Semi Erden. Terrific footwork. As Turkey extended their lead by six points. Nevertheless, Spain hit back in the fourth. Nice answer by Seif. Fernandez, who drives right down the lane and ties it up. But Erden, who finished with a double-double, stepped up when it mattered most. And you simply cannot have any complaints about Simi Erden tonight. You can't say that Turkey didn't deserve this win. They have been superb. They win it 71-67 over Spain. We are so happy to be able to win against a strong basketball nation at home. We want to do our best if we make it to China and represent our country as best we can. Third and fourth also went head-to-head -head as Latvia hosted Montenegro in Riga. Martin Myers impressed with 27 points. Oh, Myers, a dunk coming down the middle to tie this game up. But Montenegro were not going to be denied. Dumovic knocks down the big three. As they picked up an excellent nine-point away win. Meanwhile, there was bad news for Eurobasket champion Slovenia. Their seventh defeat of qualification meant that their hopes of making it to China were over. A resurgent Ukraine went up against Spain, who had a second chance to automatically qualify for the World Cup. Big, big shot, nothing but net from downtown. Transition all the way. Ducks it in transition, and one. Oh, baby! Sayers with the alley -oop. What a play! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Spain are on their way to China. The Spanish national team have finally qualified. Turkey also had the opportunity to cement their place in China when they faced Montenegro. The 21 points from Nikola Ivanovic. Over to Ivanovic for three. Good! Helped secure a brilliant five point win for Montenegro. But results elsewhere meant that Turkey could celebrate too, as they had officially qualified for the 2019 World Cup. And Latvia wrapped up proceedings as they picked up a vital 82-77 away win against Slovenia. That win for Latvia means that they are neck and neck on 16 points with Montenegro. Spain and Turkey can breathe a sigh of relief. They have both made it to China. The standout fixture of the Americas qualification saw the top two face off in Group E, and the La Rioja crowd was in full force as Argentina played host to the USA. The Americans took an early 12 point lead, but the home side fought back. Well, up Dola, knock it down the wing three, off the dribble. Nicolas Laprovitola having a great night with 17 points that helped his side to the 80 63 win. 
Elsewhere, Panama sealed a 76-65 home win over Mexico. They go to four and five. Mexico dropped to three and six. While Uruguay defeated Puerto Rico 64-62. Calvani! The US had redemption on their minds when they travelled to Montevideo to take on Uruguay. Five players hit double figures as the USA picked up a 78-70 win, certifying their position at the 2019 World Cup. Puerto Rico survived a late comeback from Panama to pick up a one-point win on the road. Argentina beat Mexico by 14 points to solidify top spot and will be in China next year with the USA. The fight for third, however, will continue in February. In Group F, Venezuela made it seven wins in a row as they got the best of Canada, 84-76, in Caracas. It's going to be a three-pointer, and that's exactly what they do with Vargas. Brazil reached triple figures as they sealed a 100-85 win over the Dominican Republic. Goes upstairs for the alley -oop and the flush. The important thing is that we adapted and had a difference of 20 points or so that we managed to keep until the end. While Chile beat the Virgin Islands 81-63. USA's win over Uruguay on game day 10 also sent Venezuela through to their first World Cup in 13 years. They fought back to claim a narrow 77-76 win away to the Virgin Islands. Don't throw it under your hoop. What are you doing? Kyle Wiltshire led the offense for Canada with 25 points against Brazil. Wiltshire puts it up. He is so confident in that jump shot as the Canadians also stamped their tickets to China with an emphatic 94-67 win. And the Dominican Republic kept their hopes of qualification alive with a 21-point victory on the road in Chile. Nine wins in ten games sent Venezuela through to the 2019 World Cup, where they will be joined by second place Canada. entered game day nine knowing that a win against Lithuania would take a big step towards claiming a spot at the 2019 World Cup. But the undefeated Baltic Giants who led the way in Group J would be a stern test for the Azuri. Lithuania got off to an ideal start. Back to Kelmiatis, down low. A beautiful basketball and it's finished with a dunk from Jonas Mashulas. The Italians were undeterred, however, as Awudu Abbas came to the fore in the second. Well, back to a play, Awudu Abbas just throws it down. Jonas Machulis made a big impact for Lithuania in the third. In the lane now, bumps in the lane, but he doesn't get it. Christian Burns unable to get the rebound. Again, keeps alive, he kisses it off the glass. Physicality, not giving up. But thanks to some big plays in the fourth, Polinara under the basket, kicks out, Sakeni, oh baby, sinks the triple, and he gives the Azuri a 66 to 60 lead. Italy held on to record an impressive five point victory, ending Lithuania's eight game winning streak in the process. The key for victory was that we were fighting right from the start. They made many shots at the start of the game, but we answered that with good character. And we were united with a good defense. Elsewhere in the group, 22 points from Miro Bilan. And the ball is inside the hoop yet again for Bilan. Helped Croatia secure a 74 69 home victory against Hungary while Poland thrashed the Netherlands 105-78. Out to Slaughter, who's been excellent. He puts up another three, and boy, they just continue to shoot it. Lights out. To record their fifth victory. Poland then hosted Italy on game day 10, knowing that a win for the visitors would seal their place in the World Cup. But having come off that big win last time out, the hosts had other ideas. And the steel Pinnick is really up for it. And the slam dunk. Matus Pinnicka. 
Poland running away to a 13-point lead by the end of the first quarter. Italy fought back thanks to more great plays from Awudu Abbas. Guarded by Kuzeki, goes left, still goes left. Amazing body control and power by Abudu Abbas. But a standout performance from Maciek Lampe in the final quarter saw his side seal the impressive win. And Lampe just running through the Italian defence. Poland have come up big witness here in Kedangs. They win. 94-78. Elsewhere, Lithuania got back to winning ways when they faced Croatia in Vilnius. Oh, the lob and the throwdown. What a play. Finishing 79-62 victors and damaging Croatia's hopes of qualification. There was drama in Budapest as Hungary took on the Netherlands. Oivida. Steps in, alley -oop. oh, that was a tough finish. With the lead changing 15 times, it was Yannick Franke that helped the away side take it to overtime. Franke gets a three, I don't believe it! They've let him hit a three! But a 21-point display from Szilard Benke. Oh, he throws it away, here comes Benke, the player of the game for Hungary. He drives it in and he scores! Was enough to help the home side seal the 91-86 victory. That win for Hungary keeps them in the hunt for a World Cup spot sitting just behind Poland, while Italy will have to wait until the final window in February to guarantee a place in China. Australia are the first nation to qualify for the World Cup from Asia and Oceania, after a comfortable victory against Iran in Group F. Despite a valiant attempt, Iran couldn't stop the hosts running out 76-47 winners. Kazakhstan travelled to Manila to face the Philippines and needed a result to keep their World Cup dreams alive. And 30 points from Alex Zigulin helped the visitors claim a 92-88 victory. I think he might be having the greatest game of all time with Kazakhstan right now. Meanwhile, Japan easily dispatched Qatar 85-47. The raucous home support going crazy for this dunk by star man Yudai Baba. The Philippines slipped to another home defeat as Iran took a step closer to qualification with a 78-70 win. While Japan continued to impress with their 87-70 win over Kazakhstan that included an incredible 41-point game from Nicolas Vazikas. Australia rounded off their Window 5 campaign with another big win as they secured a 101-59 victory over Qatar. They remain the only team to qualify from Group F, which leaves the remaining sides to battle it out for the final spots in the last window in February. In Group E, New Zealand were within touching distance of a place in China thanks to a comfortable 95-69 win against Jordan. And attack, it's another one. Over Korea as a fifth double-double from Raguna helped them secure an 84-71 win over Lebanon. While World Cup host China ran out 101-52 winners against Qatar. A comfortable 23-point victory for the Tall Blacks against Syria meant that New Zealand also stamped their tickets to the 2019 World Cup. And they would soon be joined by Korea, whose impressive 88-67 triumph over Jordan saw them also qualify for China. China rounded off proceedings with a 20-point home win against Lebanon, who sit in third in Group E as New Zealand and Korea book their places at the 2019 World Cup. Still to come in the show, basketball giant Serbia are in action when they take on Israel. Two undefeated nations collide in Group L. And there's our best plays from the qualifiers. First and second went head-to-head -head in Group K as France took on the Czech Republic on game day nine. The French needed one more win to ensure that they joined the Czechs at next year's World Cup. A productive first quarter from Amath Ambai. And Bai spots up in the wing. Two for two from beyond the arc for Amath Ambai. Saw France race into a 26-19 lead. But Wojciech Hruban began to find his range from beyond the arc. Corner three once again. 
And at the half, 39-37, France with a slim two-point lead. There was little to separate the teams in the third. Boa chick in rhythm, knocking down the three. But in the fourth, the momentum swung in favor of the French. Trailing Lasalle, who elevates and throws it down with authority. What a pass and finish. Boa chick. Oh, the swap by Lasalle. France victorious on the road, 79 to 65. Their eighth victory was enough to secure them a spot at next year's World Cup in China. I'm so happy to, to be qualified finally. It's uh, important for, for France because we try every time to, to compete, to take one medal. So with this group, we, we try to do it and finally we do it. And uh, for us, it's very, very, very fantastic. Russia knew that they would be in for a tough game when they traveled to Finland. And the home side flourished in front of a sold out crowd. Sean Huff for three is good. Great pass inside, superb recognition. And at half time, it's Finland 36, Russia 27. At the end of the third, Finland extended their lead by one point. Down by 10, the Russians threw everything they had at Finland in the fourth. A big block by Kooligan. Who else? Oh, and an open layup has tied the game for Russia. We're going into overtime. Dimitri Kooligan, 26 points, seven rebounds, five assists. That's a great all round performance. The 26-year-old guided Russia to pick up a vital win on the road. And in the final game day nine encounter, Bulgaria won by seven points against Bosnia and Herzegovina. Russia kicked off the game day 10 action with an impressive 20-point victory over Czech Republic. Now alley and Bologna boy goes in. France avenged their fourth window loss to Bulgaria with an emphatic 77-53 triumph at home. And Finland fought back from a 17-point deficit to overhaul Bosnia and Herzegovina 81-77. So France joined the Czech Republic at the World Cup, while Russia are primed to do the same in the sixth window in February. This window saw the final games of Group E as Cameroon took on hosts Angola, knowing a win would put them in contention for automatic World Cup qualification. Despite it being a very close game throughout, Angola narrowly ran out winners by just four points. Tunisia maintained their 100% record with a comfortable 89-51 win against Morocco. Egypt kept their hopes of qualification alive by beating Chad 85-58. Angola's 40-point win over Chad. Goes up, another duck. The alley to Paolo. Moore over to Morea. Saw them book their spot in next year's World Cup, much to the delight of the players and staff alike. Hey, 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 hey. Tunisia saw their 10-game unbeaten streak come to a crashing halt. Uh, oh, and the duck from Anas. Nice drive and then the finish from the big fella as Egypt pulled off a 73-64 upset. While Morocco's hopes of World Cup qualification took a knock after suffering a 63-57 defeat to Cameroon. Nevertheless, the Moroccans made amends with a 62-45 win over Chad on game day 12. And Angola defeated Tunisia 69-63 to go 3-0 in the fifth window. With Tunisia and Angola already qualified, it was winner-takes-all between Cameroon and Egypt as they dueled for third spot. A sublime 30 points from Jeremy and Zuli. Spinning and driving towards the hoop. Another big-time play. Helped Cameroon to a crucial 20-point win against Egypt as they move one step closer to making it to their first ever World Cup. So Tunisia and Angola have stamped their tickets to the World Cup, while Cameroon will have to wait until February to see if they've done enough to make it to China. While there was some great basketball action in Africa, there were also some hilarious moments from the one and only viral sensation, Limpa Chowtoy, affectionately known as Mop Guy.
opening tie of Game Day 9 in Group L saw Israel welcome basketball heavyweight Serbia to Tel Aviv. The Israelis got off to the best possible start. Oh! Tammy Blatt! Miles out! Knocks down the three and sends the Tel Aviv arena into raptures. But the Serbs clawed their way back in the second. Penno shots up and it's good for three. The third was a much tighter affair. Avramovic, shot clock running down. Avramovic shoots. Oh, my goodness! But Guy Panini was unstoppable down the stretch. Guy Panini initially, he's going to shoot that. And he's going to make that! And Israel win a massive game. 83 to Israel, 74 to Serbia. The two undefeated teams of Group L faced off in Patras as Greece took on Germany, both sides having already booked their spots in the 2019 World Cup. Germany opened an 11-point lead in the first quarter, but the home side fought back to lead at the break, thanks in part to a standout performance from Giannoulis Larenzakis. He gets it back and he puts up a three-pointer. Goodness gracious. The Greeks maintained the advantage throughout the second half. Baroussis gets inside, lays it up and in. Ionis Baroussis impressing on the night with 25 points, as Greece made it nine straight wins with the 92-84 victory. Elsewhere in Tallinn, Georgia got a vital 80-73 away win to keep their World Cup hopes alive by defeating Estonia. After that loss to Israel, Serbia were looking to end the window with a win, but faced the tough challenge of an undefeated Greece. And the home side came out of the blocks quickly in the first half to take an impressive lead in front of the Belgrade crowd. Well, Jovic now on the ball, got it by Bakarias. Ran to Rika in the lane, and he caught it, and he ducked it over. The Greeks fought back to close the gap at the break. Bakarides, oh, baby! He sinks the triple. And continued to pile on the pressure in the second half. But the home side wouldn't give up their lead. Pulls up, it's a big three. Oh! It's an air one from three point land. Serbia ending the undefeated streak 84 61 to take them one step closer to World Cup qualification. Two sides that were also in the hunt for that final spot were Georgia and Israel, who faced off in Tbilisi. It was a close-fought battle between the two sides as the lead changed 16 times over the game. Tatsi gets it, finds Shemandini, will go up inside out. McFadden knocks the three down. With it so evenly matched, it went into overtime. And it all came down to the final play. This is going up, goes to Shemandini. He scores to win the game for Georgia. An important 71-69 victory for Georgia that sees them stay in the hunt for the World Cup. Elsewhere, Germany got back to winning ways in Ludwigsburg. There's team on turn. Tries to get it to Yellow. He gets it to him and again, another dog. Grabbing the 87-70 win over Estonia. Despite that win, Greece still remain on top of the group. It will come down to the final window to determine who will seal the last qualification spot. There's been some incredible plays in this window, and here's the top five from Europe. Oh, the lob to Konate. And that's Watada, who is having the game of his life in a French uniform. And... Nice answer by Scythe for Spain. Well, get out of here. This is my house. Poma Liga said no, sir. What a block. Watch Gru Allen go. Oh, he gets rejected by Karate at the rim. And the drive, oh goodness me! Timon just posterized Perusis. There it is again, look at that. That 
that's all for this show, but join us again in February as we reach the final stage of World Cup qualification.